hope you're all having a good week. I want to start this vlog off by showing you a new addition to my apartment. I got a chair off Facebook Marketplace two days ago, a buccal chair. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the chair, it has like a fuzzy skin on it and or fuzzy material on it. And I found it very cheap on Facebook Marketplace for 40 pounds. So I was like, great, I'm going to get this chair. So I had a wonderful plan, right? I was going to go there. I was just going to take the tube. I was going to go there. I was going to vlog it because I want to get better at vlogging. So I was like, I'm going to take you along to get this chair. I went to get this chair from the girl. She was really nice. I arranged a pickup beforehand. I arranged a pickup a day before so that the driver would be there at the specific time so I wouldn't have to wait in the rain with this chair. So I got to the place. It was like a storage unit facility where the girl had kept the chair. So I went to get it from there and then it was 3 p.m. sharp. I told the driver to come. So 3 p.m. comes, he's not there. 3.15, he's not there. 3.30, no, four, no. So I had texted him at this point. Like, sorry, where are you? I'm waiting outside. I told you it's 3 p.m. sharp. I'm not sure if you got the time mis mixed up. This driver then proceeds to say, oh, I thought it was tomorrow. I was like, tomorrow, it's today. I'm standing in the rain with this chair. So I stood outside for ages and then eventually praised the Lord that this was at a storage facility and not at the girl's house. Cause I would not have been able to go into her house obviously, but at this storage facility, they had a reception. So I was able to wait in the reception and try and get another form of transportation, which took, I think an hour and a half. I was in that office speaking to the guys, bless them for keeping me company. But um, yeah, no other driver wanted to pick me up. Uber wasn't working, Uber XL, uh, Bold we have here, we have Free Now, Ola, none of them wanted to pick me up. And I checked Addison Lee, which I did not want to pick because the ride to get the chair to my house was way more expensive than the actual chair. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So I kept it off for ages. And eventually I had to give in and get Addison Lee. Otherwise this chair would have never come back home with me. So I paid more for transportation than I did for the chair. Okay, and then when I came home, I had to clean it because it was a bit dirty. I wanted to film the cleaning as well, but at that point I was so done with the day that I just cleaned it and I did not film it. So let me show you what this chair looks like. It looks a bit, on camera, it looks a little bit more gray than it actually is. I mean, it's definitely not cream because it's been used a bit, but it also doesn't look this gray in real life. Anyways, this is the chair. <laughs> I think it looks good in the space. It's super comfy. And I don't know, maybe I will try and clean it again. But for now, in my opinion, it's fine. I just want to go um, to Primark tomorrow to get like a nice decorative pillow on here. Or maybe even a blanket to kind of cover a little bit of it. Yeah, that's my little <laughs> Facebook Marketplace chair that caused a little bit of a little bit of drama <laughs> anyways then oh you can hear the train now so many people ask how loud are the trains when my windows are closed it's like this so you can hear them um i got this little picture frame and the picture from a friend who moved to japan for a year and she had this in her room she gave it to me but i'm not sure if i want to keep the picture if it will look good on the wall or if it doesn't go with my aesthetic because you know my aesthetic is kind of to keep everything minimalistic like white and cream and then i have that rug to switch things up apart from that hmm i'm thinking about it and also something that she gave me to look after while she's in japan is this marshall speaker if you've seen this in my faith talks videos I have not become bougie and got myself a bar Marshall speaker. I'm just borrowing it from her until she comes back in a year. Anyways, I just want to go for a walk because I've been inside of my house all day editing stuff, just spending time with God, reading my Bible, doing some Bible study, and I haven't been outside yet. So I need to stop being a hermit and just go outside. Um, the weather, it's, it's not raining. It's summer. It's not sunny, but right now it's not raining either. So... I will take this opportunity to go outside and I will take you with me because I'll go for a little walk along the um, the Thames, along the river. So, yeah. And I need to take out my trash. 
I have some trash over here. And I need to, I want to get rid of this chair. This is the chair that was in the winter garden before. This chair is so uncomfortable. It's horrible. And then at the bottom, it has like a, wait, let me show you. The, the fabric is kind of broken. So I might just put this in the bin room with the bins because people put furniture there that they want to get rid of. I might do that because... I don't think I can resell this chair. It reminds me of like a hospital chair or something. I know that these chairs can be really expensive and it's a specific style, but this one is just at its end. There's like loose threads over there as well. Anyways, I need to take these down and I will go for a walk. So I'll take you with me. on my walk it's all the way up again so I have to wait there's the broken elevator <laughs> guys look at this pool <laughs> how cool is that it's a bit scary. Imagine swimming in there and looking down and seeing the ground. A little scary. Look at how low the tide is right now. It's completely sandy along. Ugh. Doesn't look very nice. <laughs> That's the Thames for you. All right, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. The sun is actually out, which I'm so excited for. Look at this. <gasps> Oh yeah, also a bird pooped on my window. I have to clean this later. <laughs> um, but the sun is finally out, so I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go into town to Primark, which if you don't know Primark, it's like a... How do you explain Primark? It's like a store that has clothes and homeware, but a lot cheaper. Or it used to be cheaper before the prices of everything went up. But I'm gonna go there because I wanna get a new pillow for my little chair that I showed you yesterday and I need to get just a few random things. My soap dispenser has broken because I was too aggressive when I pumped out my hand soap. So I need to get a new one because that's just not gonna work. Um, and I'll just look around what kind of home bits they have. So yeah, I'm gonna go into town and I'll take you along with me for the journey. So let's go. I'm just in Boots, which is a pharmacy over here in the UK because I needed to get some new face moisturizer and cotton pads. And the face moisturizer that I use is a Boots own brand one, so I can only get it here. Um, and I absolutely love this one. It is so cheap. It has SPF 50 in it. It has vitamin C, as you can see, and it doesn't make me break out, which is perfect. It's only six pounds. I'm pointing at the wrong price there, but it's six pounds and I definitely recommend this one. I love it. 
Um, and then I'm just looking for cotton pads, which I thought I found at this point, but these are organic ones. So they were so expensive. And then afterwards, I found the normal ones, which are also super expensive, two pounds for one of those sleeves. I was like, nah, -uh. I remembered that Primark has them for only 50p each. So I got them at Primark instead. section so let's see if I can find anything nice in here so I'm looking for a new soap dispenser and uh what else did I oh yeah a pillow a pillow so let's see look at this they have some furniture here too this little table is so cute very nice very nice laundry basket all oh, right, I see soap dispensers. These ones have caught my eye instantly. There's also this, <laughs> looks like a vase. Um, or the cream ones, or they have some marble looking ones over there. Um, I think the black one will look best in my kitchen. No? Or should I go for cream? Hmm. I actually think I'm gonna go for the cream ones. Like add cream de details to my kitchen. How much is this? Four fifty. That's good. I'm gonna get this one. They have nice vases as well. I mean, maybe not for my home, but six pounds. Yeah, the prices are okay. Hmm. Look at these. Okay, now I'm just looking for either a pillow or a throw for the chair. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Maybe just a small cushion like this will work. Or should I do a throw? Hmm, I don't know. All right, I'm honestly not loving any of these, so I think I'm gonna leave the pillow for now. Cause I don't wanna just buy something to buy something. It's just a waste of money. So I think I'll leave it, cause these are all just not doing it. It's not for my home, you know? Nah, I'll leave it. instead of just buying individual ones it's better and these ones last a long time which is good i filled it too far so it can't go all the way down but it is yeah if i get more cream stuff i need to put my i need to put this dishwashing liquid in a better container as well because that doesn't look too good It was somebody commenting saying, this is the second time I've commented, you've been ignoring me, uh, you don't have enough followers yet to not be replying to every single comment, it's very selfish for you, things like that. And I was just like, whoa, like how can you comment something like that? I really do my best to try and reply to every single comment, which 
I only have 11 videos, but there's a lot of comments coming through, which I'm so grateful for. And it's a lot of you sharing part of your testimony, things like that. I can't just reply with a uh, one answer comment. I do my best to sit down and take the time and to, you know, let you know that I'm praying for you and to speak encouragement into your life even further. And that's not just on YouTube. I get a lot of comments on Instagram now too, or DMs. And then there's TikTok as well, which is a bigger platform for me. And I get lots of comments on there too. And then I still have my, my job that I'm doing as well. Like, and the content creating and the editing. So in between, I really do my best to take time to reply to comments. But if I have not replied to your comment yet, then I'm sorry, I'm really doing my best. And I don't want you to feel like I'm ignoring you or like I'm not seeing you or like I don't value um, your comments and like I don't want to speak into your lives. I know that most of you will definitely know this. It's just... Yeah, this one person that was very angry at me for not seeing their comment in between the hundreds of comments. I always say this, but it's so surreal to see what God is doing. In my opinion, there's nothing, or not in my opinion, there is nothing special about me except for God's work through me. So I can't take any credit. I can't take any, I can't boast in any of this. I will boast in Christ alone to God be all the glory. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that I am doing my best to reply to every single one of you. And if I don't always reply, I very often do read them. And yeah, I just wanted to say that. <music>
I've got you. I came across some animated images. I will put some on the screen if I can, where it's these little images of Jesus carrying us when we can't take something or Jesus taking care of us and just telling us, just rest in me, I've got this. And yeah, I know that that's what he's telling me through this. I just need to focus on him. And looking at the whole situation, I, I could take this in a negative way and get upset about it, but I've just been thankful for, for example, our healthcare system here. I know that a lot of you watching are in the US and it's so different where if you need to get urgent care, you would have to think about, can I afford this? Is it worth it to go? Am I able to deal with the bill that comes after? And I cannot imagine that going to urgent care. I didn't even have to think about the money because it comes from our taxpayer money that goes to the NHS. So when I went there, them giving me the crutches and giving me this boot, I won't see a bill for anything. The x-rays they took, it's all taken care of. So I'm so grateful for that. My perspective on things has changed so much. And that just gives a lot of peace that even in situations like this, I'm able to look at the positives and I'm able to have this peace of, okay, God, you've got me. You've got me and it's all good. It's good. It could, it could always be worse and yeah. All right, so this is now a few days later. And as you can see, I'm not wearing the boot at the moment. I'm still limping a little bit, but my foot is doing so much better. I'm able to put some weight on it at this point. And yeah, I can walk around a little bit. So I stopped wearing the boot because I was allowed to take it off at night anyways. But during the day, I felt like it was making my swelling so much worse. I don't know what material they made that boot out of, but it was like insulating. It kept the heat trapped in there. And whenever I would take it off in the evening, my foot would be like a balloon, <laughs> so swollen. So I was like, okay, let me just um, not wear it for a few days. And that made such a big difference. The swelling has pretty much gone down completely and the pain is almost gone too. So I just wanted to take the time to say thank you so much for everybody that's been praying for my foot. I've been seeing all of your prayers and God has really been with me through this. So thank you. I'm just about to film a new Faith Talks video and I thought I would just quickly show you the setup because people are always asking what I use and how I use it, how I connect my microphone. So my setup is a little bit more complicated because I'm using all the equipment that I use for my music recording. I'm now using this for recording my video. So I'm using this Scarlett Solo microphone that I got from Amazon and it came in a bundle with this interface. But again, this is a bit more complicated. There's a lot of microphones out there that are USB plugs so you can plug them straight into your laptop. But I have this interface here which basically connects everything. And then I have my um, adapter that turns USB into USB-C. And then I use Ableton Live, which is a software, again, to mainly record music, but I'm now using it to record my audio for my Faith Talks videos. And then um, later on, I put the audio and the video together in iMovie. I use iMovie too edit it all so yeah that's it and these are the notes that i have for this faith talks which i will upload this upcoming week and it's about how do we fully give ourselves over to god which i've been getting so many questions about so yeah i've just written a lot of things down regarding that my bible and then i have my tripod over there i need to lower it a bit but yeah i always put it there pointing this way and then i sit over here